Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this eye makeup look of mine. I created this using the NYX Dream Catcher eyeshadow palette. I really hope that you guys are liking this and if at all you are, then please keep on watching. I'm going to begin with this nudish sort of a shade from the palette and I'm using my Pro Art brush for this. It's a very soft crease uh, brush but it's kind of fluffier than a regular crease eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to just put it into the crease and work it as a transitionary shade at the same time. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead with a little bit of a darker shade. Uh, this is sort of a ashy brown shade I would say and I'm using the Revlon crease eyeshadow brush and I'm putting this into the crease once again basically i'm following this step to deepen the crease a little bit and once i'm done with this i'm gonna go ahead and use this darker shade which is actually something like a dark gray i would say it's not really a black shade and i'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and i'm just pressing this um, color onto my eyelid i'm making sure that the entire eyelid is nicely covered with this shade and i'm going all the way up to the crease I just want to make sure that I don't leave out any area over here because this is a dark shade so I'm being very careful also with the pigment and also because I don't want to leave out any gap on my eyelid. And you guys, I would actually prefer to use this shade with my finger because I've used it with the finger and I think that it applies really well if you're good at it. And now I'm using a shade and blend brush which I picked up from the drugstore in the US and I'm just sort of blending both the colors and just softening and you know just sort of diffusing those shades into the crease. And now I'm taking the same dark grey shade and with a shading brush I'm applying it outside my lower lash line. For my brows, I'm using the NYX 3-in-1 Brow Pencil and I'm just using the mascara side of it right now on my brows and just going along the shape of my brows. Actually guys, I don't really need to shape my brows. I feel like I'm pretty much blessed on that side. But uh, to fill in that gap, I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Build Em Up uh, Brow product. And I'm not filling them up completely because I really like my brows to look as natural as possible and I love the gap in my brows. It makes me feel like me. <laughs> And for my eyeliner, again, I'm using this one by NYX. It's the That's the Point eyeliner. And it's a very nice dark sketch pen, very easy to hold and you can actually work really well with that. And for my lashes, I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara for my upper as well as my lower lashes. But I'm just going to use my eye pencil first and then we're going to go ahead and use the mascara on lower lashes. For my eye pencil, I'm using the Plum Nature Studio Kajal Pencil in the shade Black and I'm also tight lining my upper waterline. And like I said, I'm gonna use the same mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Just gonna give them like a soft wriggle to just add a little bit of separation as well. And you guys, I would have actually done this step way earlier into my eye makeup because this is a very light crayon shade for the brow bone but i almost forgot to use this and i thought i really wanted to use this so i still went ahead and took the risk of using a lighter shade after using the blackish shade and the lipstick is in the shade world by mac and this highlighter is from the carly bible highlighter and eyeshadow palette absolutely love this and i'm using a small fan brush for the same and i'm going to finish off my look using the mac fix plus spray i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please do comment below and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye